This is called Gazing at the Goddess. Um, there's a beautiful and ancient Tantra meditation, which is called Goddess Gazing, where the man simply gazes at the woman. The woman's like sitting in a bed or something without clothes on, and she's just meditating, and the man gazes at her, at her for half an hour, and he doesn't touch her. And uh, then afterwards they can lie down together. So, gazing at the goddess. I wrote this one I lived in Missouri. It was from February 07. When Miss Missouri received her crown, she said, I am totally doing this for God. And she was right. Miss Goddess Pie, you're in his eye. He'd kneel and heel and wheel and steal to gaze upon one half hour of your cushioned glow or the riverine lit hip flows of any of your billion sisters in Jimmy Choo's or barefoot blisters. The silver mooned musing of your heart unbound is food for God, who sits up a little straighter and says, Look, look what I found. Five thousand years ago, a meditator lived with his wife in a thick walled house under a sky blue as the hottest sea or raining like a washing machine. He loved his beautiful browed, twinkle-ankled, darksome lily, and he could not sit quietly for ardent imaginings of her. And so he gazed while she sat nearby. And it was a kind land then, so mangoes bobbed at windows, and the floor did not need cleaning. There was no Walmart clutter, just birds calling the background. And so he gazed, with soft, half-in-gone watching, and did not rush to her, just gazed, until she calmed in his sights like a ship gone dormant, and her breasts did not torment him, and his warm loins walked north of their own accord and transited to Tibet, out the snowy crown of the world. And daily gazed he, and she was murmured into existence by the tiny paddings of his eyes' hands, and settled she deeper, small smiling like mangoes nodding, and they brought themselves home into yin-yang paradise, cool as evening, without saying a word, and with two meters between them. And even God was silenced, looking at Miss Missouri, and even he stayed back his hand. <laughs>